A matrix A such that A square equal to A is called as uh, idempotent matrix. Idempotent means if you take a matrix and if you square it and if you get the same matrix then such a matrix is called idemp idempotent matrix. That is the definition of it. Okay. Now determine this is the question. The next one is the question. Determine all idempotent uh, diagonal matrices of order n. So they are saying that what are all the diagonal matrices uh, which are idempotent that is what they are asking so i hope that you remember about the diagonal matrix right <clears throat> a matrix which is both upper triangular and lower triangular is called as diagonal matrix right and order n means it has to be of size n by n if a if a matrix is of size n by n right then uh, how many elements will be there in the diagonal n elements right so I'm writing a diagonal matrix which is of size uh, um, n by n so in such a way that there are n elements in the diagonal okay see this d1 d2 so on dn are all the n elements and all the elements above it are zeros and all the elements below the diagonal are zeros right this is the this is the definition of a diagonal matrix if you remember it is both uh, you know upper triangular as well as lower triangular right then only it is called as the diagonal matrix now if this is the diagonal matrix and if it has to be a idempotent matrix as well right then i have to take the same matrix and multiply with itself and the result has to be same right so if i take the same matrix and if i multiply with itself right then d2 d3 so on dn then the result is going to look like this then the result is it, it will get multiplied with this right which means d1 square d2 square so on dn square and all the elements here above the diagonal and all the elements below the diagonal will all be zeros right therefore this is the uh, principal diagonal elements we got so now if you have to equate this one with this right so what is the definition of idempotent this uh, square of the matrix has to be equal to the same matrix which means this one has to be equal to this one then what is then how do we get it take the corresponding elements and equate them if i take the corresponding elements and equate them i get something like this d1 square equal to d d2 square equal to d2 d3 square equal to d3 right so on dn square equal to dn now only in this case we are going to get the matrix as idempotent matrix if this has to hold true then either d1 has to be 1 right if d1 equal to 1 then it is it is holding true or d1 equal to 0 it holds true other than this it will not hold true for anything or if you want to solve it you can solve it like this d1 square minus d1 equal to 0 right that implies d1 into d1 minus 1 equal to 0 now if you want to solve this product of two numbers has to be 0 right then at least one of them have to be 0 it is not matrix it is a numbers right so product of two numbers have to be 0 therefore at least one of them have to be 0 therefore either d1 equal to 0 or d1 minus 1 equal to 0 it turns out that d1 equal to 1 right therefore either d1 is equal to 0 or 1 right so d1 equal to 0 or 1 d2 equal to 0 or 1 d3 equal to 0 or 1 dn equal to 0 or 1 therefore we have got n numbers and each number can take either 0 or 1 then how many combinations can we get out of it so depending on the assignments to d1 the assignments to you know every element in the diagonal can be either 0 or 1 see the elements above the diagonal and below the diagonal are all zeros we don't have any chances there and in the principal diagonal every element each element can be either 0 or 1 therefore you know when we have n numbers and each number is having a n, n blanks and each blank is having a you know possibility to be filled by either 0 or 1 then how many combinations we get 2 power n right therefore we get 2 power n matrices which are diagonal right and which are uh, which are diagonal and which are going to be idempotent therefore the total number of idempotent diagonal matrices of order n it is important of order n is 2 power n right 
of order k is 2 power k of order m is 2 power m 2 power m right so if, if they say that of order 5 then it is going to be 2 power 5 35 understood this and the next one is if a b equal to is next question that is one question and is next question if a b equal to a and b a equal to b then show that a and b are idempotent right so there are various ways to solve it we can even use the inverses of the matrices multiply both sides with a inverse from the left side and then prove that b equal to i and we can say that every identity matrix is idempotent matrix that is that by using inverses we can use it but as of now we didn't discuss about inverses so using the definition given we can i mean using the facts given we can even approve it okay so let me prove this now what should be what should be proved is if these are if a into b equal to a and b into a equal to b then show that a and b are idempotent in fact a and b are identity matrix every identity matrix is also idempotent because if i take i and if i square it i am going to get the i only right so anyway i am not using that that fact i am using the other one see this now we know that a into b equal to a and from this equation we know that in place of b we can write b a therefore in place of this b i am writing b a understood this in place of this b i am writing b a from this equation and now this one this equation this uh, multiplication i am going to rewrite like this a into b into a equal to a right and now we know that a into b is equal to a therefore a a equal to a so a square equal to a so what can we say about a a is idempotent got it so we can even show that b is idempotent using the same kind of proof now say this b into a equal to b now in place of this a i can write a b from this equation right using the first equation if i substitute the first equation the second equation then i get in place of a i can write a b right therefore i write a b equal to b then i can rewrite it so i will rewrite it like this b into a because matrix multiplication is associative braces parentheses you can put any way right so we know that b a is equal to b now it is b into b equal to b that implies b square equal to b therefore b is idempotent so a is idempotent as well as b is idempotent right okay